I'm Zachary Fowler. Ah! Yeah! Yeah! That's it. Zach, your magazine came. I think it's a Slingshot magazine. Oh, nice. Let's check it out. Awesome. This is the first ever Slingshot magazine. Boom. Check it out. I'll put the link below for where you can get this. This is the first edition of the first ever Slingshot magazine. How cool is that? This is... Woo! Oh, look. And it's got this cool little... This thing's kind of neat. I saw this in somebody else's preview of the magazine. It is a sight right card, and basically you cut these off and you put them on a slingshot and they can be the sights down the end of the slingshot and you can use those points to line them up on your target. If you're hitting low, you move that point up and you sight through that point onto the target right there. Very cool. Uh, nothing like getting a magazine and some little neat thing falls out of it. And uh, I don't want to show you too much because then spoil it for you. You want to read it right here on my notes. Uh, but it is... All slingshots. So if you love slingshots like I do, or you're starting to, you might want to go online and get yourself one of these. So many slingshots, so much slingshot stuff. Stories of slingshot hunting and cooking food. Wasp slingshots, look at how beautiful this. It's a beautiful, glossy magazine dedicated just to slingshot. And just pages covered in slingshots. This is a must for you. If you like slingshots, check it out. The link is down below where you can get your first edition of the first ever super awesome slingshot magazine. All right, guys, this is just a bit of gruesome clickbait for you so we could talk about something important, breaking slingshots and slingshots that are not safe to be shot. I'm not saying that Chinese slingshots are dangerous. Some of my favorite slingshots are Chinese slingshots from GZK, the ones that I sell on the website like the first World Cup slingshot I'm working on a video with. It's a solid slingshot. There's a lot of solid slingshots out there. But I'm also receiving a lot of slingshots with these new target reticles. And these things look really cool. You can use this with the target reticle for sighting and it gives you a greater degree of accuracy if you can get good with a slingshot like this. So I'm looking closely at them though and I'm seeing these things are pretty darn thin. I love the idea of this, but this is a lot of thin pieces and sometimes you get frame hits. And a frame hit happens when you tweak your pouch or something a little bit wrong or you're not holding it cleanly, you're pinching too high one side or the other and it hits the frame. And I've got a couple here that uh, for some reason I hit on the frame more often than not. This one, uh, when I first got it, I was hitting on the frame a whole bunch for some reason. And it survived it. I want to do a new thing today and we're going to line some of these slingshots up that seem like they're a little thin on the metal and a little unsafe with these target reticles here and we're going to line them up and we're going to screw them to this frame here the heads of the slingshots and then we're going to shoot the slingshots at the frames as if they were getting a frame hit uh, from a safe distance of course and see if they explode and what happens to these apples that are next to these pieces when the frames explode if they explode. And when we're done, we'll go over some of the slingshots you can always trust and the materials that they're made out of, like the ones from Simple Shot and the ones from GZK that are made really solidly. Alright, so I'm going to use on a Simple Shot Torque. And I'll probably use my favorite, my Hornet there that I made. Check out the How to Shoot a Slingshot playlist here on YouTube for more videos in this series that'll help you get going with your slingshot shooting. And for even more information on How to Shoot a Slingshot, you can find it on FowlersMakeryAndMischief.com on our How to Shoot a Slingshot page. You take the torque. Take some safety glasses. And I'll take some safety glasses. I don't wear these very often, but you better believe I'm wearing them for this one. Let's see how these guys hold up. What are you going for first? Left? I'm going to go with the left. Why don't you go to the right, try to hit the frame tips and see if those hold up under impacts. Now 
We should, this might have been a good outside video. I mean, I do have metal screens on my walls and stuff, but still. That's why we have safety glasses on. So there were a couple hits in. One, two. Two good frame hits, and there's already an obvious disadvantage. It has cut the band. The clamping mechanism here, the way it clamps and screws in there has cut the band, so it's unsafe to use at this point now. Let's shoot it some more. Why are you dodging? You're like three Dude, feet away. That one felt close. <laughs> it was in my peripherals. It was uh, behind me. They're moving slow enough when they return. This is kind of dangerous, but they are moving slow enough when they bounce back this way that they wouldn't punch that you. Your he skin. can, he, well, at least slow enough that he can dodge it after it's already hit the back wall. <laughs> Let's see how well we did, and or how well they did, which is more important. Um, it looks like I hit these a lot, but I don't see anything broken, completely broken, outside of what we talked about a couple of minutes ago. With the bands on this type of clamping system, cutting the bands if you get a frame hit after only two hits. But uh, the reticles, let's see how the apples did. Oh, look at that one. Look at that. That is one of the fiber optics there sticking out of the side of the apple. We put apples back up a couple times. They took a lot of abuse, but only because, oh look, this one actually has a piece of ammo still stuck in it. Um, so that goes to show you one thing I've said before about safe shooting. These are ricocheting off the side of the frame as if it was a frame hit, and these apples are directly beside it, and the ammo is coming that way. So when you're shooting with your friends, you know, a ricochet off the frame, a frame hit can go zing directly at right angles to you. There's the safest place is like behind a buddy when he's shooting. But none of these are broken yet and we put a lot of frame hits on them. So I'm saying that's a pretty good pass for these guys. Let's give them one more really hardcore test. Take them out to the anvil in the workshop and pound on them a hammer. See how much it really does take to break. The only other question I have too about some of these is when they're mounted to the top, how tough are they mounted? So let's pound away at these with the ball peen on the anvil and we'll see how much abuse they really can take. That's about what I figured. The first place they're going to fail is where it's mounted here, but that was a ridiculous amount of abuse. That slingshot definitely passes a surviving test of abuse. I mean that, you're never gonna put it through that kind of abuse. Well, that won't do it. That's, I just cannot get this thing to break. I have to say, they definitely passed the test. I mean, these things, I, I expected that, you know, especially this one with the thinner frame and the bracketry would break. The targeting sights themselves are almost the only things that really broke under natural shooting stress. If there was a mistake or something happened and you hit one of these, it would break. And I don't think you'd actually break them off of the handle while shooting, no matter how many frame hits you get. That was all hammer work that broke those. And you get what you pay for. Good materials that you can always trust are these um, infused ones that are made by Simple Shot. The GZK ones I have never had a problem with. The HDP slingshots that we make and sell, the Hornet, is a really solid slingshot. You want to be careful, you get what you pay for. I mean, if you're going to go to like wish.com and buy something that looks just like what I had there for 99 cents and get it next day, I think you might know right from the get-go, you're risking your own eyeballs on that one. Knock out one of your eyes, remember, you can't see the pretty girls. My only downside, I thought maybe, was that one where you hit the frame and it tends to cut the bands, and so you'd have to replace them if you made a mistake and hit the frame. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Fowler out.
Subscribe by hitting the link in the top right and hit the link in the top left for FowlersMakerYourMischief.com where you can get your slingshots, survival gear, replacement bands, a little bit of everything you see me playing with in the videos. And if you're looking for a slingshot we don't carry, you can probably find it on SimpleShot.com. Check them out, link below and in the description.